Dude, I don't know how vloggers do it. I'm holding my hand up, but I'm getting tired. I'm skinny! What's going on guys? Wow, that lighting is awful. Hang on. This isn't this isn't any better. I am awful at this already. What's going on guys? My name is Jack or Jack the Bus and welcome to my pre-modern warfare setup video. It's been a long time coming. I haven't done a setup video since like 5,000 subscribers and that was a while ago. So we're gonna do an updated one for pre-modern warfare. I also want to give a special shout out to Scuff Gaming in this video, but that'll come a little bit later. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of get started with a little bit of the rest of the room and then we're gonna get right into my setup. Alright, so just starting on this side of the room, we have a really bad paint job uh, I don't really want to explain that but we got my backpack my laptop that I use for video editing and just content stuff on the go sticker bomb like crazy I don't know why it's got a case on it so I just put the stickers on the case and if I don't want the stickers on I just take the case off big brain I have my collector's edition of uh, black ops 2 the office box set a couple of coding books my G fuel my current G fuel collection it's grown a little bit bigger lately we have um, Ridge and gummy fish blackberry my favorite lemonade straw and strawberry banana and then we have sour blue chug rug and then of course my mini mini dock shaker cup that I so adore and then moving on we have this um, you know Newton Newton's balls and these also light up it's kind of like it, it's it, it gives my mind a seizure but it looks awesome at the same time and then next to that we have my little collection of Call of Duty Zombies perk bottles. I actually had Quick Revive, but I was recording a video a while ago and I actually lost Quick Revive, so that is a rip. But we do have the other ones that I made, and then I have the Call of Duty Zombies comic book that I kind of hold on to. And then just a small Raspberry Pi system that I kind of mess around on with different projects. And then passing my made up bed, I promise it's not always made up. I made it up just for you guys, so you should feel very special. Next to my bed, I just have some drawers with some random stuff in it. We got controllers and backup mice and stuff like that. We have um, a scuff box and then some compressed air for my setup and then below that one we have my games um, I have basically every single Call of Duty on disc except for World War 2 because I have that on digital so you know we've even got Call of Duty the first one on PC on disc there's Call of Duty 2 it was out of order and then we just have a couple other play old PlayStation games if you've never played Warhawk that is a classic PS3 game. Unfortunately, it's no longer, the servers actually just got taken down, but it's one of my favorite games of all time. Past that are just my shoes. I got some Nike SBs, some J1s, some um, Adidas UBs, and then just some regular Vans. Over on this other table, I have my Nintendo Switch. We got Clark Kent. We have a signed picture of Gus Johnson, which I just went and saw him live. Hilarious, one of the, the funniest comedians I've ever seen live. I have this giant jack that one of my aunts gave me. I love this thing. It's just a literally just a giant jack. Got a candle because you know, good smells. Um, this alarm clock, I, I gotta tell you guys about this. This alarm clock is insane. Whenever it goes off in the mornings, it literally starts running and then jumps off this table and then starts going ham on the floor like this, basically screaming. It just does a ton of random sounds. It is the worst thing ever, but it gets me up every time because I have to go chase it down. So yeah, we're gonna put this little sucker back up here. We got our little robot here. Uh, I got my watch in there and then a couple uh, hockey pucks because I love the stars even though we're trash this season. And in passing this, I'm not going to dox myself or anything, but I have my degree uh, for cybersecurity, my associate in supply science that I just got. I have that hung on a wall. And then over here on the wall, I have this framed thing that my dad got me of us, the hockey game. We love to go in the hockey games together. I love hockey. Even though I said this season, we aren't doing, you know, too great. And then moving on to the main setup, which I know a lot of you guys are here for. Here it is, we got the four monitors. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth. So it looks like this from a little wide angle and then I got my green screen collapsed right behind it. So I don't really know where to start with the setup. So we're gonna just take a seat. Uh, this is my GT Omega racing chair. Really good investment, it's very comfortable. We're just gonna basically get started. So right here we have the Corsair K70 rapid fire. Love this keyboard, really awesome keyboard. Again, I'll leave all specs down below in the description if you guys wanna check any of this out. I actually have a Digma Rays pre-ordered. So once that comes in, I'm gonna be uh, kind of putting this to the side and using that but for now this is what we're rocking right above that we have the go xlr i love this mixer as you can tell it's taking my mic feed right now you can basically take it and you know turn it all the way down mute it for yourself it's totally customizable best thing i've ever invested in it has a sampler voice changer awesome mixer over to the left of that we have goose the cat uh from you know captain marvel love goose the cat adorable so he kind of just watches me and then to the right of that we have the stream deck elgato stream deck i have a lot of elgato products i love this thing helps me a lot with scene transitions and different sound effects recording stuff like that a lot of hotkeys on that sucker so i definitely love that and then to the right of that even further we have my headset charger and mixer which my headset i have the steel series siberia 800 it is a wireless headset it's no longer available i'm still gonna link it below love this headset like i said it's wireless 
wireless. It has an, a hot swappable battery, so every time it's dying, I just pop this sucker open. And as you can see, the battery's right there. I take it out and I put it in that little charging base and I take the other one that's in the charging base and put it in the headset. It's very convenient, so you basically never have your headset die. All right, over to the right of that, I have my glorious PCMR uh, Model O mouse. Love this mouse, RGB, extremely light, awesome skates on it as well. Got a pretty good cord and uh, yeah, I basically love this mouse. I just replaced my uh, uh, Final Mouse Ultralight Phantom with it because I, I've heard really good things about this. I'm actually starting to like this a lot more than the ultralight phantom if anyone wants this i had someone that was going to buy it and they backed out so if anyone wants to pick up this final mouse ultralight phantom they aren't available anymore they're very rare so just let me know and then over to the right of that i basically have my notebook uh and my legal pad which i basically I put all my video ideas and stuff in there if I don't put it on Google Docs, and that basically just helps me visualize stuff better. All right, and then so next to the desk, I have some of my favorite posters. We got, you know, James Bond 007, some Rick and Morty, uh, Back to the Future, one of my favorite movies of all time, some My Hero Academia, and then we have some Zombies posters back here. We have Origins. And then Dorizon's Rock. I don't remember where the moon one went. Two of my favorite zombie maps of all time, of course. And then I have an It Is What It Is, like, wood thing that my dad got me for my birthdays. Of course, It Is What It Is is a, the podcast I do every Saturday with Turbo. And if you guys haven't listened to it, it's a great time. Love doing that every single Saturday over on his channel. And then above all that, we have some more posters. So I used to work in a movie theater, so I got posters for free. I have a ton, but these are some of my favorites. So we have Civil War, uh, Martian, Hobbit, Keanu, Deadpool, and then Walking Dead. Of course, Walking Walking Dead I got just on my own, but all of these I got from promos from the movie theater. And then over on the left I have, so so on this main monitor I basically play all PC games on here. These two I use for Discord, Spotify, all that good stuff. And then on this left monitor is for the PS4. I actually have two controllers now, so this is kind of what I wanted to uh, do a shout out for Scuff Gaming. So I had this Scuff Impact for about two years and I loved it. Favorite controller, could never go back from not using these paddles on a console controller. Love this controller to death and once I joined Carnage and I won the Carnage RC, uh, they said they wanted to send me a scuff package. So I basically got the inverted color scheme for this one and I've always wanted a 4PS one. So they sent me this one. It's got a grip on the back, got the two paddles that I love. It has like a mouse click on the, listen. Like that's a mouse click, that's insane. Like it, it feels so fast to, you know, respond to. And then of course we have the fast the fast triggers on the back. Love this controller, only been using this for Call of Duty lately. Pretty much all I'm gonna use it on for Modern Warfare when I'm not playing on PC. So yeah, huge shout out to Scuff Gaming. Love you guys, thank you so much for the care package. So yeah, this, that's basically where I play PS4, this is where I play PC. I have a Nova ring light right here, very bright. I pretty much only use it low, uh, you know, brightness. Uh, when, I'm, when I'm using the green screen, I turn it up a little bit so that it can key better and then I have a Sony a6000 I believe I don't remember the exact model and that's connected to a cam link on my computer so that I can use this for my webcam and then I just have some soundproof foam uh, red and black scheme behind it that kind of matches my PC and then my PC underneath of course will have all the specs but we got water cooling uh, GeForce GTX 1080 for the win a nice Ryzen CPU deep in there an SSD you know all that good stuff like I said I'll have all the specifications down below and then for the microphone, I have the uh, Audio-Technica AT2020. Love this microphone, basically works just as I wanted it to. Plugs right into my mixer, and yeah, I'm basically good to go with that. I also have an extra webcam up on this top monitor if in case I wanna use like um, hand cam or any other camera angles. And then of course, this is all on an Erosi uh, gaming desk. It's basically a giant mouse pad desk, so as you can see, the entire desk is just one big mouse pad. Love this desk, it was super huge, really hard to get in my room, but once I can kind of moved everything, it really works out. Like I said, I love just the way everything flows with this setup uh, since I changed it recently. And then I have my green screen that I collapsed, another Elgato product that I love. So if you can see, I'm gonna open this, and anytime I want the green screen, I basically just yank this sucker up, and it goes up and basically, boom, got a green screen right behind me. Works perfectly with that camera. Ring light kind of puts the light on it and keys really well. But since we're not using it right now, I'll just collapse it by pushing down on it and then bada boom. Please sponsor me, Elgato. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for my setup tour. I hope you did enjoy. I hope I didn't miss anything. I'm pretty sure I missed like half the stuff in my old video, but I'm pretty sure I got everything kind of in the video. Again, this is my setup for Modern Warfare. Very excited for the game to come out. I've got big plans for this game. Got tons of video ideas. I wrote down like 50 today, so I'm very excited to get some stuff out for you guys. 
live streams all the time over on twitch.tv slash jack the bus i'll leave all the links down below that you guys need to find any of the stuff on my setup and uh yeah with that being said as always i hope you guys have a wonderful day as per usual and i will catch you in the next one peace peace